What's up guys? You're welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the IMEI number and the information that can be gotten from the IMEI number. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent video. Let's jump right in. I'm sure that you are aware that every single phone has a 15 digit code attached to it called the IMEI number. This number is mainly used to identify the hardware of the device that you purchased and that you are using. Now beyond just identifying the hardware of the device, so many people have questions as to whether a phone can be hacked using IMEI. In one of my previous videos, I had talked about whether or not your phone can be hacked using the IMEI number. I'm going to link to that video in the description box below. Now let's see what are the information that we can retrieve using the IMEI number. We can retrieve the manufacturer name, the model number of the device, the year I believe that it was manufactured based on the IMEI code arrangements and many other things. If you now present the IMEI number to a telecoms operator for example, from the telecoms operator's perspective, you can get the warranty code of the device, sorry, the warranty status of the device, the warranty dates. You can also get the warranty dates and the activation status. You can as well get the phone details as the call log because the SIM is on the phone and anytime a phone call is made, the phone number is transmitted and the IMEI in which the phone call was made is also transmitted to the telecoms operator. So in a case where you are on a contract with your telecoms carrier, you can also find out your financial status and with the IMEI number, you can also report a stolen device. So these are the things that can be done using the IMEI number. Now let's summarize everything. The IMEI is divided into three eras before 2002, between 2002 and 2004, which is considered the transition period, then 2004 up till date. Now, why it is necessary to look at it in terms of errors is because of what the numbers represent. Before 2002, the first six digits represented the type allocation code. Then the second, after the six digits, the next two digits represented the final assembly code. After the two digits, you now have another six digits that represents the phone serial number before you have the check digit. And now when you put all these together, that is what gives you your IMEI number. So if this information was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.